You get on my last sciatic nerve, Sam. Fart, you are a fart. Uh. couple of things yes I did clean my house after Sam found that pepperoni in the carpet and I have realized I've been doing a lot of up nostril shots so I'm trying to get the camera angle so it's less nostril for you and less sunshine in my face right we're in Sam's garden again because the Sun is shining we've almost missed it but we're gonna make the most of what's left of it it's just in our faces right now but you know whatever I'm gonna do some kettlebell stuff some club bell stuff and some May stuff just like the other day but not exactly the same I'm gonna start off with some Upside down, oh sorry, bottoms up, kettlebell squats, maybe some presses, do some club bell stuff. I'm just going to make it up as I go I think today and then I'm going to do some mace flowing at the end, freestyling I think. Right, Sam's almost finished warming up. Um, I've told him that he has to start wearing pants that don't have holes in the crotch because he's a bad one for that but he's got a shirt with a massive hole in the armpit right now. Different. Other side Sam. You didn't specify it. It's said pants, you didn't say I couldn't have holy Look, shirts. It's like, is that, that's like... A, one thread, Sam. It's like air conditioning. Such a fucking caveman. Right. See with some up bottoms up squats. Right. Bottoms up with a kettlebell, which means I'm holding it like this, which takes a lot of balance and a lot of stabilizer muscles. So when I'm squatting I have to concentrate extra hard. So even though the weight's not that heavy, the amount of tension I have to create through my body to keep that stable is almost as much tension as I get doing a normal heavy squat. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then swap sides. Now, when you're doing a bottoms up, you've got to stack it right under your arms. So you've got to keep this nice and vertical at all times. Keeping the handle on your palm. This is my bad side. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to do five by five a side. Some struggles doing bottoms up with this weight. I got a bit carried away. I should have brought him a lighter weight, but you know. You're gonna do chest loaded squats, Sam? Yes. Yes, chest loaded, let's go. Alright, I'm doing five by five a side. Sam's gonna do shoulders? Yeah, just do three sets because we're gonna do squats with the uh, club bell as well. Let's see, Sam. He's not quite in the goblet position. He's got the kettlebell loaded on his chest. He finds it easier than holding it goblet style. His hands get tired. Is that lighting now? I know, let's just film great. his butt. Right, remember to pull your shoulders back. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. It's just hard because I'm trying to keep my knees between my elbows between my knees so I can get lower. Right, so that was a bit of a warm up. I hope you can hear me with this wind blowing. It's windy too. So that's a bit of a warm up. Next thing you'll see us doing is a little complex with the club bells. We're gonna do more squatting, offset pressing, overhead pressing, maybe. Swipes, I don't know. Let's see, it'll be next. Right. I'm glad you've got good lighting, Sam, because I've got sun in my face right now. But anyway, it's right, beautiful. this little complex. We'll start off kind of like a half swipe. So from there, swing up. Uh, the back position. 
position and then cast forwards like we were doing yesterday to pull over but then this time squat and press out as we go so we're off balance pull up back down again to swipe pull press I might as well finish this out Have a good. No, I'm getting tense right now. Really tense. Because oh, You're not anywhere near a tent. The tension to stop you from wobbling. Keep them tight. I actually, I actually took quite a lot of my arms just doing that little wiggle. I don't know how many I've done now. I'm going to do two more. Though. Yes. Sam? I think so. Yes. Right, Sam's turn. Let's see how he does. Let's see how Sam does now. Right, so the camera froze while I was recording Sam's set, so here's Sam's set now. <laughs> I just realised I've been very quiet. Oh, Tom's finished his set now. I uh, hope that wasn't too boring to watch in silence. I might put some silly music under it. Probably didn't. Right, uh, right. I think we should do some windmills with the kettlebell. We haven't done windmills in a, in a while. Oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll mess around with the mace. Cool. We're going to do that. Right, catch you in a bit. Let's do it here. Do them there. Why not? Do you. Oh, wish. Just because your wife's out. Just do your check with Joe's mom. What? <laughs> right. Um, I have to remember how to do these. Oh my god. It's been a minute. You've watched me do a million of them. You were just doing them to warm up anyway, to stretch the crank. Just without a kettlebell. Oh, look at him showing off now, <sighs> dabbing. Sam showing off, getting a bit of an extra stretch in. Oh, that's showing off. Someone needs to be doing these with a 20. Although I'll be doing the same thing probably. This is actually quite excellent form. This is probably the like best exercise that Sam's done today, or at least the one he's done the best. Look at it. You done both sides? Again? Is that you've only done one side? Yeah, that's six I think on this side. Should I only be doing five? Are we doing five or five of these? I don't know, I've completely lost it today. Do I don't know what I'm doing. I'm only doing three tens because he's. We're just sort of doing what we feel like doing today. I haven't had my head in the game. I didn't really plan this workout. <laughs> we just made it up when we picked up the gear. Anyway, we don't want to watch Sam do that all day. Basically, like, the windmill is one of my favourite exercises yeah, to do with the kettlebell. It. it gets a nice stretch. And if you've got a bit of sciatica or a I don't, well, maybe not if you actually have full-on sciatica, but it's good for that sort of stretching around there. Evidently it has, you get on my last sciatic nerve, Sam. Anyway, I forgot what I was trying to say, it's just really good if you tighten the hips. A bit of sciatica it helps uh, open up space so it doesn't pinch as much. That's enough waffle. You probably can't even know what I'm saying. Why am I doing talks like this when it's winter? He says that, you should have heard his backside earlier. <laughs> Doing 
I've just got to start to watch. Turn. Suicide. Maybe. Side. Almost turned around. Look at this. See how fluid and easy it is on that side. And this side's just like, oh, it doesn't feel right. There we go. Right. I was planning on doing a bit of mace flow at the end, but not feeling it. I'm just going to swing the mace around a bit. I think this might be the end of the vlog. Hopefully this is shorter than the last one. Bye!